Hey guys, in this episode we are going to look into a very important concept that is memory alignment. We will take a hypothetical camera system design to understand the concept. You want to take a picture with your smartphone, so you open your camera application and click the picture. For this, your camera application will first send a request to camera firmware to turn on the camera. After that, it sends a request again to click the picture and store the image in the provided memory address A. Here the camera application had found a free memory space starting with the address A equal to 100. Therefore, it had provided this particular address A to camera firmware for it to store the image. Now, camera firmware knows much more about the hardware than the camera application. It knows that the hardware wants to store images starting from the memory addresses which are multiple of a number X. Based on the architecture, this could be an optional requirement to find optimal performance in hardware memory interaction or it could be a compulsory requirement of the hardware. Alright, what is X here? X is usually a power of two numbers such as 32, 64, 128, 512, etc. And the value usually depends on the maximum size of the data which could be transferred to the memory in one go. Let's assume here that for our hardware X is 64. Therefore, valid addresses which are acceptable or preferred by the camera hardware are 0, 64, 128, 192, 256 and so on. So, firmware will not send the received address 100 to the hardware because 100 is not a multiple of 64. Firmware needs to change the address A to a nearby address B which would be a multiple of 64. For A equal to 100, it seems 128 would be a good valid address, right? Therefore, firmware will change the address from 100 to 128 and then send the request to hardware for clicking the picture and storing the image. Alright, so we aligned the memory address here to B equal to 128. In this example, assuming the memory units are in bytes, then we say we did 64 byte alignment of the memory address. After the hardware is done storing the image, the firmware could send a confirmation back to the camera application, which also includes the address B at which the image could be found. Okay, great. In the next two episodes, we will implement this alignment feature using bit manipulations and it's going to be really interesting. There is a similar alignment concept which aims at the memory size of the data structure and we will learn that in our future episode as well. That's it. This brings us to the end of this episode. Do subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. See you.